I'm feeling a little bit ropey today. Um, and the temptation when you're not feeling well is to just call in and take away because that is definitely an easier thing to do than cook or that's what most people think. So what I'm doing today actually is I'm going to cook some fish. Um, I'm cooking Cornish Place um, which is a new fish for me. The reason I'm cooking fish is because it is full of omega 3 that is your fatty acids. Omega 3s are great for inflammation, they're great for your immune system, um, they're great for mood and joint health, they're full of vitamin D again which is good for immune health um, and bone health, they've got B12, mood and to be honest when you're not feeling great you need something to lift your mood. Now fish is something that we can all feel a little bit scared of. Don't be scared of cooking fish. So I have put my fish, this is quite a slim little fish, I've put my fish on silver foil um, I get my fish from the fishmongers in Tunbridge and they are very good because they will gut the fish, they'll clean it um, and if it needs the scaling they'll take the scales off. Um, I'm just checking to make sure that this fish has been cleaned and gutted properly, looks like it. So here is my fish. You put it on the middle of your um, silver foil. Um, I then put, this is the easiest way to cook fish, I then put a little bit of olive oil over my fish, uh, salt and pepper. Pepper as always because pepper helps you to absorb your nutrients. Um, a little bit of salt just a little bit for flavour and I'm also going to dot a little bit of butter on the fish. Again just so that um, when I, I seal the fish in the silver foil I leave a bit of a gap and it is it's not really baking it's kind of like steaming it because the butter and everything melts and it creates a bit of a or steam. Uh, tuck in the end. That's it. I've got my uh, my oven on 180 degrees. This isn't a very big fish, so I'm going to only cook it for 15 minutes and then check it. Um, I could have put lemon in there. I could for flavour. I could have put a little bit of chorizo. Could have put garlic, but I haven't done any of that. It's very simple. So this goes in the oven for 20, 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to try 15 minutes to start with. I have made a ratatouille to go with it, primarily because I need the onions and the garlic and the ginger. These are all good. Again, if you've got a cold and you want to support your immune system, um, they're good for your gut. I've got some tomatoes in there. I've got um, courgettes and peppers um, and herbs. So these are, I've put as many colours as I can in my ratatouille. Um, which I cooked earlier on today. So I've taken my fish out of the oven. Oh, that looks absolutely perfect. I hope you can see that properly. Mmm, that looks delicious. So this is the tricky bit. You mark down the backbone with your knife. And I am hoping, as I have not cooked this fish before, that you just very gently pull up the fish fillets. Oh, this is perfect. This is working perfectly. Perfect. Oh, I can just 
peel that fish fillet off. I'm not going to win any awards for presentation. Hopefully, I'm going to win an award from my husband for taste. So here is the fish fillets finished, cooked. So that really is how easy fish is to cook. It's been in the oven for about 15 minutes. I took the fish fillets off of the bone just with my fish, um, it's not scalpel is it, my fish slice. Scalpel. Um, and there it is, I'm just going to add my ratatouille. So please don't forget to go onto my website and